everyone. Isn't it amazing to have this many people in a room to focus on professionalism? It makes me proud. Uh, I'm Rick Page, if I haven't met any of you at this point. And, and today marks the fourth anniversary, the fifth time we've gathered as a college to celebrate professionalism. We first undertook this initiative in 2018. And we had a diverse group of medical student, graduate student, trainee, staff, and faculty come up with a statement that would be our own in terms of core values for our college. And I'm actually gonna read it. Our Larner College of Medicine community upholds the highest standards of professionalism as we follow our passion for lifelong learning and improvement. We demonstrate professionalism through integrity, accountability, compassion, altruism, and social responsibility. We honor the trust our society has placed in us as stewards of the art and science of medicine as we rely on cultural humility, kindness, and respect to guide our daily interactions. We expect all members of our community to embrace these principles of professionalism as we strive to conduct and support patient care, research, and education that are second to none. About four years ago, we introduced that statement and it still resonates. My thanks go again to the committee, the task force that put it together and we celebrated on May 1st in 2019. Now a lot's happened in the last four years, but I believe in part having four values and a true North has kept us going so we could survive and even thrive during some pretty tough times. I'm really excited to be able to gather together, I'm not wearing masks. And I just saw that, that we were down to 10 admissions in the state of Vermont last week in terms of COVID lower than, than before Omicron and Delta joined us. Um, we have amazing students, faculty and staff in our community. Unknown to any of us, they're demonstrating the tenets of our professionalism statement every day and throughout Connecticut, Vermont, and our region. And today we get to celebrate a few of them. Um, in March, I put out a call for nominations just as last year, there was a great response. I'm really fortunate that we have a nominations review committee with members from across our community, including past award recipients who reviewed all of these nominations and made recommendations to me for these awards. I'm really grateful to the committee and all of those of you, some of you who actually wrote thoughtful nominations for our awardees. Now to tell you more about the committee process, I'd like to introduce this year's committee chair, Dr. Kristen Pierce, professor of medicine and chief of the division of general internal medicine. Um, and is that right? I actually do read this as I read it. And chief of infectious, she's amazing. But one thing I do know for sure, first we got your title wrong on the video. And if you haven't seen her video, she knocked it out of the park. So um, she's past recipient of the Dean's Award for Professionalism and Faculty. Please join me in giving a round of applause for Dr. Pierce. Uh, I will be brief, but I want to thank Dean Page for giving me a big promotion. So thank you. <laughs> um, I, I, I hope my paycheck will soon reflect that. Um, but seriously, thank you. Um, I had the pleasure of working with previous professionalism awardees um, on the committee this year, and I would just like to individually recognize and thank them. The committee this year included um, Akua Frimpong. I almost said Dr. Akua Frimpong, because she soon will be. Uh, she's a current LCOM student. Trevor Wolf, who is a current graduate student about to defend his thesis, I think any day now. Mindy Bean, who's a staff member in pediatrics. And our faculty award recipient last year, Dr. Natalie Feldman. Uh, I'd just like to thank them very much for their participation uh, this year. I would also like to speak for the entire committee, and I think I do when I say how phenomenal the pool of nominations we were able to review were. 
And just to express our collective gratitude to be able to work with such phenomenal and outstanding colleagues here at LCOM. And I would like to thank Dean Page for my promotion and also for asking me to chair the committee this year. And with that, I will turn it back over to you for the awards. Thank you very <laughs> thank much. You. Okay, uh, just a couple of things I just want to mention. Um, first of all, we have so many people in our community who demonstrate professionalism every day. Um, a number of them, scores of them actually had colleagues who put them forward for nominations. Um, it's hard, but we have a rule. Only one per group per year, because otherwise it'd be a slippery slope and we'd be here all afternoon. So that is really tough for your committee to sort out among the many deserving people. And that's why today we're not just celebrating the four awardees, but rather every person who was nominated and our community in general for how they manifest professionalism in their daily lives. Our first award today uh, will be for the Medical Student Award. Oh, the other thing I mentioned, I'm not giving any titles and also not giving any more promotions. So I'm just gonna give first and last name. I've practiced on just about every one of these names. If I get it wrong, I apologize, call me out on it. It's cultural humility. Um, there were six nominees for the award for medical students this year. Um, and they are Sam Aldis, Max Bridenstine, Elliot Binkard Dale, Laura Mernick, Zachary Olson, and Elise Prohoda. I'm really pleased to announce that the 2023 Dean's Medical Student Award for Professionalism this year is awarded to Sam Aldis. who I've got to say looks really sharp in his suit. Um, the, um, uh, before we present the award to uh, uh, Sam, we're going to ask for Dr. Rebecca Evans, associate professor in the Department of Anesthesiology, who was one of the nominees for Sam to uh, share her words. And after that, we will take a picture. So please join me for that. Please join me in welcoming uh, Dr. Evans. to do a year of research with um, Dr. Whitaker in our department. And as part of that, he really wanted to get some clinical hands-on experience as well. So um, Sam has been with me every week for about the past year, which is probably longer than most of us get to spend with medical students. And it's just been a real joy in order to get to spend some time with him. Um, and I'm a pediatric anesthesiologist, which makes my field a little bit different maybe than just being able to take care of adults. But I must say, Sam is phenomenal with children. It's pretty impressive. I don't think any of our kids cried when Sam was around him. <laughs> um, and that's not just my biased opinion. There was actually a nice uh, statement that was put in by one of our patient's parents who said, you know, we were really nervous about bringing our child into the, um, back into the hospital. They had spent a lot of time in the NICU and there was kind of a lot of anxiety associated with that patient coming back in for surgery. Um, and Sam happened to be on a research day that, um, that week when he was helping us out in the operating room with some of his pediatric research. And the mom said, you know what? She said, we were really nervous because it was during COVID and parents weren't allowed to go back to the operating room like we traditionally do. But Sam was going to be with him the whole time. And Sam did a great job kind of getting to know this kid and keeping him nice and calm and, and soothing as he went back to the operating room. Um, and his mom said, you know, when the kid woke up that he was just so glad that Sam was still there with him and that he had the opportunity um, to meet Sam during this journey. So uh, I would say that you could probably replicate and say for just about all of our patients that Sam interacts with. Um, and it's just been a real joy to get to spend some time with them and watch them grow in the clinics uh, over the past year. Thank you, Rebecca. Let's take a picture here. Yeah. Dave, you tell us where to go here. You want to say any words? Please. Hi. Wow. I've uh, never spoken from this position, so this is quite intimidating. But hi. 
Uh, I just wanted to quickly say thank you. I can see a lot of people in the crowd that came to say, uh, to kind of stand and watch this happen. So thank you so much for coming to the residents on the side over here. Thank you so much to the perioperative staff in the back. Thank you so much for coming to say hello and also to the mother of that patient as well. Thank you for coming on your off day to come and say hello and to congratulate. So thank you so much. And then I'll also say thank you to my mentor, uh, my partner, Becca, and my parents who are also in the state in the uh, crowd today. So thank you so much. Amazing. Welcome. I didn't realize you were here. It's really our honor that you're joining us. Um, let's give one more round of applause for our students, for those who are nominated, and for Sam. So now we're moving on to Dean's Graduate Student Award for Professionalism. There are many highly professional graduate students. We had two nominees this year, and we're pledging to double it by next year. Uh, Sean Lanahan and Maya Raj were both put forward, and I'm pleased to announce the Dean's Graduate Student Award for Professionalism is awarded to Maya Raj. Maya, come on forward. And to tell us a little bit more about Maya is Dr. Chris Berger, Associate Dean for Undergraduate and Graduate Education and Postdoctoral Training. Welcome, Chris. Congratulations, Maya. Thank you, Rick. So Maya is a Master of Medical Science student in the Lerner College of Medicine, and she's also the recipient of the 2023 um, Dean's Pathway Scholarship, which is given annually to an outstanding MMS student. In addition to excelling in the classroom, the Dean's Pathway Scholar is expected to provide leadership in diversity, inclusion, and or social justice initiatives. Um, within the MMS program and the Larner College of Medicine at large. Maya has earned this recognition um, by being an advocate for underrepresented students um, to the Larner Graduate Student Council, to the Office of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, and to the Larner College of Medicine administration. She has the courage to speak out on diversity and inclusivity issues that can be uh, difficult um, for people to hear but that need to be addressed. She does this in an impassioned but objective manner, never putting um, people on the defensive, but striving to make a difference in a positive and impactful way. Maya's efforts focused on making the Larner College of Medicine a uh, safe and welcoming place for all students um, is a valuable service, not just to her fellow classmates, but to our entire community. Um, and our entire community will benefit from continuing to strive to be better in the future than we are now. So your efforts are truly appreciated. Her advocacy is a shining example of Maya's professionalism, one that we should all acknowledge and emulate. Congratulations, Maya. Come around and take a picture. Hold that. Hi, everybody. Um, I want to say thank you to my nominator. Um, most importantly, um, I want to say that professionalism for me has been reinforced every day through my interactions with my peers. Um, this past year, we've worked through various um, academic um, rigorous programs, um, maintaining a very positive motivational energy to continue representing the underrepresented in our pathway through medicine. It is through these interactions with them that I am reminded that holding myself to a high standard of professionalism um, is essential in representing our communities with respect and integrity. So thank you so much. Thank you, Maya, and so well said. We appreciate all you do. Um, I'll mention that I've been a teacher at medical schools for about 30 years, but just in the last few years, I've had the, the honor of talking about professionalism with the graduate students once a year, which is 
is, uh, is really a pleasure and it's such an impressive group. Please join me in giving one more round of applause for our graduate students, those nominees and Maya. So now we're moving on to the Dean's Staff Award for Professionalism. Depending on how you count it, we had 17 or 32 nominations. And I'll explain that in a moment. Um, we, we had a group nomination. The MedPlex Zone team, some of whom are here today, uh, was acknowledged and I'd like to call them out. These were not an individual nomination, so I can't say they were specifically eligible for the award, but we felt they should be called out as they had been nominated as just a team that has taken us through some challenging times. They are Keith Benoit, Chris Brent Bingham, Robert Bowl, Brandon Bordeaux, Vinnie Churchill, Aaron Collins, Benjamin Edmonds, Greg Hancock, Chad Kavanaugh, Brian Little, Matthew Malloy, George Mangian, William Nesbitt, Jacob Turner, and Greg Witten. And now on to the other individual nominees. Um, Minara Alieva, Miraj Daftari, Moira Barber, Bridget Carney, Melissa Cuke, Tiffany Delaney, Monica Donleby, Hannah Blair Frering, Lindsay Hullfish, another tag team, Bruce Kimball and Jason Towsley, Roz Bedad King, Tim Moynihan, Julia Connor, Susan Richardson, Lee Rosen, and Carmen Swim. Congratulations to all of them. And the 2023 Dean Staff Award for Professionalism is awarded to Melissa Cuke, a research specialist with the Department of Orthopedics and Rehabilitation. Susan Platania, Department Administrator for the Department of Orthopedics and Rehabilitation is here to share why she nominated Melissa. Thank you, Dean Page, and good afternoon, everybody, and congratulations to all the other nominees. First, I want to take this opportunity to thank all of our staff and our department who work very hard every day supporting the educational and research missions. They are true professionals, and I appreciate and am grateful to work with these individuals. Now, Melissa Cuke. She exemplifies professionalism and represents our department well, both internally and externally. She is truly deserving of this recognition. Melissa exhibits the highest integrity as our department's research specialist. In this role, she ensures we adhere to regulatory guidelines and are compliant with policies. She navigates all that she does by earning the respect from those she works with, especially our faculty. She educates and communicates well and is a highly sought out and valued resource. A particular highlight of Melissa's success over the past few years has been her coordination of our site's participation in a clinical trial we lovingly refer to as the PERC-2 study. This study is being conducted at, a, at 16 centers across North America. It is funded by the US Department of Defense with the prime sponsor being the University of Calgary. Dr. Michelle Benoit is our UVM's PI. He has been informed that our site is recognized as one of the top successful programs for this study. This is definitely attributable to Melissa's expertise and navigational abilities. She works well with everyone. Most importantly, Melissa has a reputation of being a kind and thoughtful person. She projects positivity no matter the situation. She can discuss regulatory requirements one minute and her love of travel, the outdoors, and plants the next. She is a true inspiration to all who cross her path. And on behalf of our staff and faculty, thank you, Melissa, for everything you do.
Well, thank you, Dean Page and the committee and Sue for those very kind words. <laughs> and I, I mean, I would leave it to others to speak about me, but I can speak about professionalism in my coworkers, uh, people that I work with in the College of Medicine and in my home department of orthopedics. Um, I think one of my take homes of the last three years is the importance of people that you work with. I'm always going to remember the ways that staff stepped up to keep things running for patients, for students and for a sense of community. And Sue Platania and our home department from the university side um, led much of that and continues to do so. Uh, the connections between professionalism and well being were brought up several times yesterday. And I see my coworkers recognizing that and uh, looking out for each other with empathy. I see the kindness in staff members who consistently take the time to include people who might be shy, who might be new to UVM or Vermont. I see providers giving their time, sometimes that they don't have because they believe in offering research opportunities to their patients and because they're passionate about asking new questions. Uh, I see the co my coworkers show and the respect that they show for research participants. And I see the, you know, the care, the painstaking care that people take when no one's looking to ensure the accuracy of data that research relies on. So professionalism in my coworkers, it makes a difference in the day-to-day -day, and it's driven by respect for integrity in science. And I think many of us working in research and education, you know, we do so because we believe in equity, um, equitable access to research and education. Um, and, and lifelong learning. And I see my coworkers embodying these values every week. So I'm grateful for people that I work with and thank you very much for this. <laughs> I, I love my job. And, and among the happiest, best parts of my job is the day that I get to inform our awardees and going up personally and, and and somewhat inappropriately interrupting uh, Melissa's day to announce to her that she was the awardee. It was one of the more fun, fun mornings I've had recently. So again, let's let's um, acknowledge the highly professional, committed staff that didn't necessarily get a nomination this year. All of our nominees and Melissa, congratulations. Now it's time to announce the Dean's Faculty Award for Professionalism. There were 17 nominations in this category. And they are Dragos Banu, Jeremiah Dickerson, Rebecca Evans, where have I seen that name before today? Stephen Aversa, El Ellie Farisi, Christopher Franklin, Andrew Goodwin, Osama Haraz, Bradley Heward, Brian Kim, Laura McRae, Janet Murray, Christian Pulsini, Andrew Rosenfeld, Douglas Todges, Alyssa Thomas, and Sarah Twitchell. And this year's Dean's Faculty Award for Professionalism uh, is awarded to Dr. Brian Kim, my eye doctor, Associate Professor in the Department of Surgery and Division Chief for Ophthalmology. Akua Frimpong, a previous Professionalism Award recipient and a medical student now in Connecticut at our branch campus, nominated Dr. Kim by Magic Akua, you're right there. And she's going to share some of the reasons she thought Dr. Kim should deserve this award. Akua? Thank you, Dean Page, and good afternoon, everyone. It has been with great pleasure to have nominated Dr. Brian Kim for the Professionalism Award. This award is given to someone who demonstrates professionalism through integrity, accountability, compassion, altruism, and social responsibility. Dr. Kim demonstrates these qualities daily through his interactions with his patients, students, peers, and colleagues. 
He often performs above and beyond, providing expertise, exceptional support, and service to the Larner College of Medicine by serving on numerous committees while advising students interested in ophthalmology within and outside of the LCOM environment. His interactions with anyone, even those thinking about the field of ophthalmology, has always been welcoming. Dr. Kim is a wonderful example for this community as he strives to conduct and support patient care, research, and education. He does his best to spark an interest and provides an open environment for you to learn and explore. Dr. Kim has always been there to lend me a hand, listen, and provide guidance. He has shown me a prime example of the kind of leader I hope to become one day. His work exemplifies how mentorship can set up for success as he models how to juggle the everyday ups and downs while inspiring me to never give up on my future goals. Dr. Kim is a helpful, caring, resourceful, and happy individual who offers his services no matter the task. Lastly, his skills, knowledge, willingness to help others, dedication, and confirmed commitment to LCOM in the community make him a worthy recipient of the Professionalism Award. Thank you and congratulations, Dr. Kim. Akua, I wish we could get you in the picture. Maybe we can Photoshop you. Let me take a picture with, with Dr. Kim. Did we get her? And Akua, we did Photoshop you. Fine, one place more. Cool. We're going to have to talk pretty soon again here. Um, I want to mirror a lot of what people have said already today. I, uh, the nominees, Dean Page, thank you, first of all, for the, the opportunity to, for this great honor. I, I really appreciate it. Um, I love my job, and it's really easy to, to love your job. This is a perfect example because, you know, the true story, when Dean Page called me to tell me I won this award, I, I think my first response is, are you sure? Because I can think of off the top of my head at least 10 other people who I think are equally or more deserving than I. Um, and it's a really great place to know that you have uh, so many people and models of professionalism that work alongside you um, in, a walk, in all walks of, of what you do. Um, so I'm super appreciative of the, the opportunity to, um, to have this award. Um, I think professionalism is a, is a privilege I've been given by my folks. I mean, I learned a lot from them. I think the exposure to them and their teachings of integrity, compassion, and altruism is something I'll always take with me. And as much as I appreciate this award, I think it means so much to me because I know how much it means to them. So I want to thank you all for, um, for the opportunity, and I, I know that um, it's much appreciated. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So thank you, Dr. Kim. I want to acknowledge all of faculty we can think of who demonstrate professionalism every day and we can all think of them not all of them were nominated this year just put a bug in your ear we'll open to as many nominations for students faculty and staff for next year so start thinking about who should be on that list but please join me in one round of applause for all of our faculty those nominees and to dr kim I don't know where else you can get a crowd like this on a Thursday afternoon to celebrate professionalism. And, and, and isn't it nice? We had a visiting professor here yesterday who gave a keynote speech. She did an amazing job. And some of us got to have dinner with her and um, uh, last night. And, and she commented on just the quality of the people that we get to work with. So just think of that. Take a moment to reflect on the fact that we're part of a community that cares in this way and aspires, we're not perfect, but aspires to be as good as we possibly can in service to each other, to science, and most importantly, our patients. Um, so as we reach the end of this awards program, I wanna thank all the speakers, great job, and reiterate how grateful I am to all the members of the community who wrote nominations and um, responded so enthusiastically in that way. And finally, those on the, the committee, who, um, who reviewed all these nominations. I want next year's committee to be even busier 
with even more nominations. The other thing I'll mention is once you're an awardee, you're on the committee for the next few years. That was a brilliant thought because you never get a more professional committee than by populating it with a bunch of professionalism award winners. We have such, such outstanding students, faculty, and staff here in Connecticut and throughout the region. I'm really looking forward to our fifth anniversary next year, where for the sixth time we will celebrate our commitment to professionalism and to our, our aspiration to treat everyone with cultural humility, kindness, and respect. Now, that brings our event to, to a close. Please join us for the reception in the Hale Gallery. So a little bit of a walk. And uh, in addition to enjoying food and drink there, we're going to be collecting uh, items for Rally Cats Cupboard, an on-campus food shelf, which our professionalism committee thought would be a great idea to kind of combine with this event to support those in need within our community. Thank you again so much for attending today. Have a great afternoon. Thank you. Great job. Thank you.